Hi, today we are going to see how to operate 8085 microprocessor. So this is a microprocessor 8085 8-bit processor kit. Here we can have your 8085 microprocessor over here. And this is a ROM where the program inbuilt programs have been stored and this is the RAM where you are going to write your program and then store. All other ICs are for peripheral interfacing. We have a keyboard, hexadecimal keyboard over here which has been interfaced to an 8 segment LED display. There, there would be, there would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 8 segment LED. So this 6 8 segment LED is used for uh, displaying your uh, keyed inputs. So now let us see how to give uh, the inputs to your 8085 microprocessor. In order to do that we have to know how to write a program and then how to write the opcodes of a given program. Now let us see an example of an 8-bit addition. So here we can see the 8-bit addition program which is given in your manual. The address over here is called as the program address. This is the program address where the program are being stored. This address, right, the address which is there in the instruction which is in, uh, say 4 digit, this 4 digit uh, address is called as the data address. Here we have written a program for an 8 bit addition. Now this is the first instruction. These are all called mnemonics. Mnemonics are high level language. So now we are going to convert this mnemonics to its equivalent opcode. How to do that? We have to get an opcode sheet. So here we have an opcode sheet for the 8085 uh, microprocessor kit. Say for example, I am going to find out the opcode for MVIC, 00. 00 is an 8 bit data. So that data is specified in the instruction itself. So we have to find out what is the opcode for MVIC. So in the opcode sheet, we have to, this is alphabetical opcode sheet. So we have to see where is MVIC. So here I have located MVIC. So you have to see the equivalent opcode for that. It is 0E. So now what you have to do is you have to write 0E for MVI, C, comma, then 00. zero. Whatever the opcode uh, operand is given, you have to write that along over here. Next is LXIH4500. So when you write your four digit uh, data in your opcode, first you have to write the lower order byte first and then the higher order byte. So 0, 0 would come first and then 4, 5 would be followed. So now what we have to find out? We have to find out the opcode for LXIH. So coming to the opcode sheet, we have to go look for LXI. So we have to go for LXIH. LXIH is over here. It is 2, 1. So we have to write 2, 1 over here. Similarly, move A comma M. Move A comma M is opcode is move a comma m is 7e. I am going to write 7e over here. Similarly, inxh. inxh is 2, 3. 2, 3. Next, add m. Add m. So, add m. Check for add m. It is over here. It is 8, 6. 8, 6. Jump on no carry. JNC stands for jump on no carry. I can go for JNC. Jump on no carry, it is D2, D2 and L1. So L1, where it is? It is coming over here. The label is over here. What is the address over here? 410C. So I'll write the lower order byte first and then the higher order byte next. INRC. What is the opcode for INRC? INRC, it is 0C. So I'll write 0C over here. Next, INXH. I have already noted INXH as 23. I have written. Next, move. M comma A. I am going to go to my opcode sheet and then find out move M comma A. Move M comma A is 70, 77. Seven. Move M comma A is 77. Seven. Next INXH. INXH we have written at 2, 3. Move M comma C. Move M comma C is M comma C. We have M comma C is 7, 1. So 7, 1. And HLT is HLT we have to see for HLT it is 76. So we have completed the opcodes. Now what we have to do is we have to enter this opcode into your microprocessor. So when you are entering into your microprocessor, the first step in giving the inputs, 
right the first step is you have to reset your microprocessor this is the reset key reset it so when you reset it you have mu 85 microprocessor 85 the first step is press sub key so the four digit would be opened that is for entering your op uh, program address the program address starts at 4100 so enter 4100 over here and press next your op code field would be in available the first four is for address the next two field is for entering your op code now what is the op code for move mvi c comma zero zero it is zero e i'm going to enter zero e over here and then press next you have to press next in order to save the data next is you have to enter the next op code which is four one sorry this is zero zero which is available at four one zero one so come here it is four one zero one what you are going to apply you are going to enter zero zero next the address increments automatically you have to enter only the opcode so address increments automatically you have to enter the opcode the next opcode is two one the next opcode is zero zero next opcode is four five next is seven e next is two three next is eight six next is d two next is zero c next is four one after that zero c next two three seven seven two three seven one and seven six finished then reset you have entered the op codes right now in the program address now we have to enter the data what you are going to do is you are going to add two numbers right that's those two numbers are stored at four five zero zero and four five zero one i come over here into my microprocessor hit do the same process hit, hit sub substitute four five zero zero hit next i'm going to enter the first value say for example i'm going to enter zero two the next value is zero three right four five zero one is zero three and four five zero two is four five zero zero is zero two four five zero one is zero three next reset so we have entered the program we have entered the data and the next is we have to execute the program in order to execute the program press go which is eighth key go enter the starting address of the program starting address of the program is 41000 you can see here the starting address of the program is 4100 so i have entered 4100 over here and then press execute key press execute when you press execute the letter symbol e comes next reset now we have to go to the output address the output is stored at 4502 and 4503 03 is for storing the carry 02 is for storing the sum so now let us check 450 zero, so 4500 is the input that we have given 02 and 03 when we add 02 and 03 the result would be 05 we have got the sum as 05 and there is no carry so 00 is the result this is how we have to verify the results thank you